He loved his family, baseball, and the Navy. That's how his family described 26-year-old Randall Smith, a petty officer in the United States Navy and the fifth service member to die from the attack on an Armed Forces Recruitment Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee, two days ago. Smith and his wife had three daughters under the age of seven who he called his little princesses. He was shot three times, managed to flash his wife a thumbs up after surgery, <laughs> then died at 2.17 this morning. We are learning more about the shooter as well, Mohammed Youssef Abdulaziz, who apparently spent more than half of last year in the Middle East and some time recently at shooting ranges here at home. Jerika Duncan begins our coverage. A fifth cross was put in the ground today at this growing memorial site to mark the death of Randall Smith, shot three times during Thursday's rampage. Hundreds came to visit, including the family of one of the victims, Staff Sergeant David Wyatt. His father, Alan, told me his son died after helping others escape. I'm told that, uh, that my son and others were escorting the, the other people in the building, trying to get them out, that they uh, were boosting them over a fence, uh, that they uh, were able to get, a, uh, get um, 18 people uh, away over the fence, and then they counted, and there were two missing. And uh, my son, Sergeant Wyatt, and Sergeant Gunnery Sergeant Sullivan went back to look for the other two, uh, whereupon they ran into the shooter and uh, were fired upon and killed. Beyond the flowers and flags, you could see the FBI gathering evidence. 26-year-old Daly Simmons paused to pray for peace. You could just, like, turn so angry and... It's just amazing to, to see all of like Chattanooga just binding together. While others like Cassandra Daniels grieved for a nation in pain. There's no difference between what happened in Charleston and what happened here. Hate 